That is Tree of Heaven, also known as Ailanthus. And Ailanthus, that's a common name, but that's the genus name. It just as often, it would be like calling an oath for So they often just call it Ailanthus or Tree of Heaven. Uh, people sometimes think it looks like a sumac. It kind of comes into abandoned waste areas. Uh, but this, there's a couple big differences. Uh, one, this gets very, very large. Like it can be two feet or more in diameter. Which when they're this size, they kind of look like a little bit, because they have a very, very uh, stout twig. Now, this is ridiculous, okay? But that's that's an average size twig. And on the twig is another big difference from sumac. You'll notice the leaf scar on this is a big shield shape. Sumacs all have kind of like a deep horseshoe around the bud, with the bud in the middle, Some of the sumacs we did, the two of them. So real prominent big shield shape on there. It does have a great big pith, kind of like sumac, something super woody. And then it has a uh, pass that around. It has an odor to it. A little less odorous in this cold weather, but it, could you smell stuff? Yeah. I don't know really how to describe it. And all parts, the, the, the leaves, which, by the way, you're like, well, the leaves are gone. Well, we can still tell something about the leaf by looking at one of these, which tells you what. It's compound, and it was really pretty big. <laughs> it's a very big compound leaf. It can be several feet uh, long. And so those are going to be laying all over the ground for you. Okay, and it tells you, oh, that's much bigger than hickory and ash, and bigger than walnut even. Well, you know what? Uh huh. Okay. Kentucky coffee tree maybe is that big. That's about it. Uh, the bark, uh, sometimes people describe it as looking like cantaloupe rind, the skin of a cantaloupe, like a big cantaloupe. Cantaloupe's finer texture, but uh, I think that works pretty good. Looks like uh, it has little diamonds all over it. Yeah. Then the fruit, which I'm waiting, this thing's only four years old. I'm thinking, okay, next year it'll have fruit. Next year it'll have fruit. It hasn't had any yet. But the fruit is a very big clump, and, and a lot of them, when they do flower, of um, Samaras, they're on, you can know, see it there. That thing's probably, that clump is probably like 10 inches long. A dense cluster of Samaras, which is a winged seed. It's super aggressive in that it'll, it can grow anywhere. There's some pictures on your DVD you'll just crack up. It, it shows it growing out of the side of a brick building. It shows it growing on a roof of a building, you know, coming out of the crack of it. Yeah, some people think it smells like peanut butter and leaves. And I've always thought, well, if that's what peanut butter smells like, no one would eat it. Yeah, it'd be like rancid peanut butter. Yeah. Some people, usually in a group and you pass it around, someone will say peanut butter. You know, but leaves are just stronger, but it's the same smell, basically.